Welcome to another edition of Husky Sports Pound. I'm your host, Breon Young. Life right now for NFL draft prospect can be nerve-wracking. Lawrence Elliott Jr., after a tremendous career at Bloomsburg University, is looking for an opportunity to continue on his next step on his football career. Our own Wes Splain sat down with Lawrence Elliott Jr. to get his take on his journey. Hello, Husky sports fans. I'm Wesley Splain, and I'm joined with our special guest, Lawrence Elliott Jr. Lawrence, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So, you had a really good uh, Husky career, but to summarize your career in one word, what would it be? There's a, there's a lot of words I can definitely use. Um, one that, that sticks out for my, good, for my personality and playing the game, I think, is relentless. Okay, so, um, coming into your final season, you had a tremendous career up to this point. Um, what were your goals going in? Were you like trying to achieve a new rushing record, new uh, touchdown record, or was it team goals or anything? Um, I think with, with being the previous, previous season and not winning as many games, uh, first the team goal would be to, to make the playoffs, but unfortunately we didn't get that done. Uh, individually, uh, I think I strive to, to, to go after one of the goals that I wanted to do, and that was to lead the country with touchdowns or yardage, and I really went, really went after that this season. Was there anything inspirational that drove you throughout your whole entire Husky career? Um, just, I feel just family, uh, friends, and the, the countless um, wishes of genuine success and happiness through this whole thing is, was very important. So you finished your last season with 1,014 rushing yards and led the conference with 20 rushing touchdowns compared to 10 just last year. So um, was there anything that helped you um, get those 20 um, rushing touchdowns? Um, I think putting more, more hours in training and just fixing my, my running technique, it had some hitches, and I, I felt that through my three years of playing and my senior year, I made sure that I was able to have those home run plays. So with, you had a lot of accolades. You have the 2015-2016 All-Peace Sack East first team. Um, you were All-American by Lindley's Football. Um, dot com, player of the week honors, all region. Out of all these accolades, team or individual, which one stands out the most and why? Um, I would say, I would say the preseason one, um, preseason All American. I think it was a, it was a big, it was an eye opener that I've how far I've come and to to be able to be recognized in that in that manner is it, it meant a lot to me and I knew. It, it helped me uh, set some goals out for myself for the season. What was your favorite game this year, performance-wise or just adrenaline-wise? Um, I would have to say um, IUP. IUP. It was uh, the last team that I would eventually play, play against in the PSAC. I played against all the teams, and they were the last one uh, that I had to play in my career. And I went out there, and it was a big shock because they were very good players and very good team. And I really enjoyed playing that game. So you became the fourth player in school history to record 5,000 all-purpose yards. And you joined um, Franklin Quiete, um, Jamar Brittingham, and Irv Singler. How does that make you feel just um, joining the greats from this school? Uh, it, it really means a lot. It uh, says a lot of, of how, much, if you, how much you can, you can reciprocate and develop or um, bring out in yourself by just putting the time in and knowing that I played again I played with with Frank and watching the things he did it really inspired me mm -hmm. to try to strive to to match or outdo what he did so there's been a lot of talk about you for taking the next step into the NFL um, NFLDraftBible.com put you on the 2017 draft watch list um, can you talk about trying to take the next step and potentially being on an NFL squad and trying to make a team? Um, it's, it's, it's pretty much the reoccurring thing of just working hard and keeping, keeping the same work ethic I have through, I've had through this whole thing and just know that um, hard work doesn't go unnoticed. So has there been any strides? Have you, you recently hired an agent? Um, has there been any movement as of late, or have you just been working? Um, I've just been working out, and next step right now is uh, 
the next couple of weeks, I'm pretty sure you've seen the, the combine mm -hmm. flashbacks and stuff is coming out. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get an invite to that, but uh, the pro days are the next best thing. So I'm going to be going to uh, try to go to Cal, Cal U, PA, uh, their, their pro day, and try to get into Villanova or Bucknell. Specialize yourself as a free agent. You can pick wherever you want. All the teams are interested in you. Is there one particular NFL team you would love to play on for any particular reason? Um, I would say running back for the, the New York Giants. New York Giants? The New York Giants. They, they, they need some help in the, the backfield. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I believe that I could help them out. Um, hopefully, see if I get my chance. All righty. Well, that will do it for us, and thank you, Lawrence, for joining us. And once again, congratulations on a tremendous career here at Bloomsburg University. And back to you, Breon. That's it for an edition of Husky Sports Found. I'm Breon.